Island fever. There's not enough of here. We've memorized the coastline. We plan for surprising storms. Native birds are too big, bright, and loud for the venue. West manufactures beautiful sunsets every day. Our drinking water smells of boiled crabs. Every porch sags with rot. We loathe tourists because they fall for the island's gimmicks, including sand, palm trees, and our menus. No one ever meant or was meant to live here. Long boats of natives' ancestors got shoved here in an anomalous storm. Later arrivals were victims of delusional cartographers. Well, we're all cousins now. Like us, our children play with their food, making islands of mashed potatoes and seas of gravy. This pile of rock is slightly higher than the reefs, a volcanic achievement that's become a romantic getaway. We don't wish the ocean ill. All we want is just for once to walk in any direction on an aimless plane and to not bump into anything soon or something we knew was coming.